I want to make a statement this morning, which is going to be the title of my message. And I'm going to ask you to look at your neighbor and say, everyone can succeed. Everyone. Well, I, I, I didn't feel you. If I was sitting next to you and you said that to me, I, I would just say to you, you don't believe what you're saying. So I'm going to give you a second time around, all right? I'm going to give you a second time around. Look at your neighbor and just say to them, everyone can succeed. Tell them again, like you believe it. Everyone can succeed. And that is true. Everyone can succeed. No matter who you are. No matter what your background is. Regardless of what they said about you. And even the hurdles that you may be experiencing. Whether they are socio-political, they have to do with family, they are resource-related, everyone can succeed. And I'm very careful when I say that because I'm going to define to you what success is according to God. There are many things that we call success that are not success as far as God is concerned. I've got several main scriptures, but two in particular, 3 John 2 and Genesis 4. 3 John 2, I'm reading to you, it reads as follows, and I think I took this in the Passion Translation. Beloved, I wish above all things that you may prosper and be in health. No, this is the King James Bible. Beloved, I wish above all things that you may prosper and be in health, even as your soul prospers. Beloved, I wish about all things that you may prosper and be in health, even as your soul prospers. Let me add another one that I didn't add to my notes. They'll add it there. Joshua 1.8, this book of the law shall not depart out of your mouth, but thou shalt meditate there in day and night, that you may be able to do according to all that's written therein. For then thou shalt make thy way prosperous, and then thou shalt have good success. Amen. Somebody say good success. good success. And it's important that God qualifies that word success. He said, calls it good success. Because there's bad success. There's bad success. You see, in the world, when you have money, people say you are successful. But you find that you have money, but you have no peace in your heart. For you to sleep at night, you have to take a whole, you know, regiment of medicine. You got ulcers, you're worrying. In your home, there's tension, there's friction. You got the money, but you can't buy peace. And when you die, You go to destruction because you don't know Christ as Savior and Lord. That's bad success. Good success is when Christ is Savior of your life and Lord of your life. You got peace in your heart. Not everything is perfect, but you got peace in your heart. At least things are going well in your home. And you've got education and you've got money in the bank, but you don't worship the money, you worship God. That's good success. So God says, In Joshua 1.8, you will make your way successful. And the word you means you. Tell your neighbor, you means you. Tell your neighbor, you means me. Tell your other neighbor, you means you neighbor. So everyone, everyone can succeed. In Genesis 4.7, very interesting. I'm just reading the first part in the NIV Bible, just a portion of it. And the whole story is after Cain had killed Abel, his brother. And God confronts him about it because when Cain saw Abel being accepted by God and his life moving forward, he didn't like it. Because success can bring you enemies. There are people who are okay with you when things are not working. But when things start working, all of a sudden they are funny. How many of you are sitting next to somebody who is not funny? (laughs) I got you. I got you. (laughs) So some of you are about to raise your hand and ruin and ruin your friendship forever. (laughs) 
<laughs> Sometimes you just get surprised all of a sudden, Nkari, this person has changed. Because there's, there's people who can't handle it when your life moves forward. They like it. Am, am I talking to people who are alive? Yeah. Right? So the story we are reading is around that. These things don't start today. God says to Cain, the second part of verse 7, he says, if you do what is right, will you not be accepted? Let me read it to you in the New English translation from verse 6 and verse 7. Then God says to, said to Cain, why are you angry? Why is your expression downcast? Is it not true that if you do what is right, you will be fine? If you do what's right, things will work for you. But if you don't do what is right, sin is crouching at the door. It's desiring to dominate you, but you must subdue it. 